the Autumn Internationals 2012. Tickets available now, wiu.co.uk. Spoke uh, on the press conference, you know, back in uh, October. I think uh, Tavis uh, has been available. I think that that's one of the uh, aids of the uh, participation agreement where our Welsh players were able to take part in our preparation time of 13 days. Uh, obviously, as well, playing alongside Reese is a half back combination. They've worked together in uh, the Scarlets, and I've spoken to Mike uh, at this moment in time. Mike is not available for the Australia game. It's also learning from mistakes as well, isn't it? Uh, obviously, you learned a lot when we went to Australia in three or, three or four weeks, players hadn't played for. And we can't get to that Australia game, fourth game up, whereby uh, some players wouldn't have played any rugby. So uh, it's a balancing act, and it's important, uh, you know, every position, uh, we take a sort of guidance on who's available, who's playing on form, and uh, partnerships as well. Um, over the moon, uh, the selection, um, you know, it's, it's great to, to have the opportunity to wear the, the, a, a great jersey and uh, we've worked really hard as a team, you know, in, in, individually and collectively and, uh, you know, it's paid off. It was a great opportunity for myself. Um, I, unfortunately, I sat on a sideline in a sling watching the Six Nations and they won the Grand Slam and, you know, I was pleased for the Wales to, to do that, but sitting in the house with the... Uh, in, after having an operation, it's very nice, you know, and it's just as well I had my, my friends, my family, and my girlfriend around me to just uh, to support me, and you know, it was great. So, all thanks to them, they've been brilliant. Ten um, obviously caused a debate, uh, but we feel that uh, at this moment in time, uh, Rhys Priestland is the number one uh, ten. I think he f facilitates the back line. His decision making generally uh, when he's been playing regional rugby has been very good. It's kick pass run. Uh, and obviously, I think many of you highlighted uh, his goal kicking when you've got Lee Halfpenny kicking for goal at 80% plus for region and national. That doesn't become an issue uh, at international level. And, and, and we're, we've obviously chuffed that Lee is kicking so well. Uh, loose head, obviously, Gethin, uh, delighted. Ongoing discussions uh, with uh, Gethin and Toulon and his availability to play against Australia at this moment in time. Uh, so obviously Gethin c c comes into the equation. And you know, talking about that experience at the, <coughs> at the uh, cliff face uh, front row, particularly when you're playing against Argentina, their scrum uh, is a potent weapon and experience. Not that I've played many times in that front row, if, <laughs> if not at all, but uh, you know, with Smiler and Matthew recent experience and Gethin and delighted uh, with Aaron Jarvis. Uh, he's been given a, an opportunity with the Ospreys uh, when Adam hasn't been fit and uh, you know, he's played particularly well and set piece is going to be really a crucial area. So it's that balance of form and experience that we'll need against Argentina on Saturday and obviously delighted for Aaron to get his first start. I cannot wait, I'm so excited for it. It's, uh yeah, really, just really excited. I can't really put it into words how I feel. Yeah, this you know, why you play play rugby is for challenges like this, and I you know, can't wait to to have 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 the challenge in front of me. And, and I've just got to you know keep working hard, and hopefully, uh, the working hard will transfer to playing well. And if I can play well, then hopefully I'll get a good run. We feel that uh, you know Josh has trained particularly well in Poland. Uh, you know Aaron and uh, Rob weren't able to train uh, a lot of the time over in Poland and Josh has taken his opportunity and those who watched uh, the Brumbies game out in Australia, he played particularly well, his work rate was second to none, uh, good defender uh, and also uh, you know, we're, we're comfortable with that back row as a combination in terms of uh, the subtleties that e each individual brings. I haven't played much competitive rugby um, in the same starting line as Josh as our 20s days and 19s days really so um, spent probably two months rooming with Josh uh, as an age group player um, so we know a lot about each other and get on very well so um, I think Josh did a great job in the, in the sixth row he was a lot bigger than people think you know, he was a good sort of 112 kilos um, he's a deceptively big bloke so to be out you know to ask him to to go out there and, and be like a tackle machine like Dan is really I think his work rate is um, probably one of the best around and out of all the Welsh boys. Um, his title count's always right up there. So I think he'll slot into that role pretty comfortably. And, um, you know, like Howler says, I think, you know, he is a, he'd be a great six, good line option, can ball carry. Um, so he'd be a, a great guy to, to step up and do a job in that, in that six shirt.
the Autumn Internationals 2012. Tickets available now, wiu.co.uk.